Hi, I'm Xander. I'm Sam. And I'm Matt. And we're on the Robo Jackets. We're going to be working on FTC's Rover Ruckus for a Robot in One Weekend Challenge. These are the different designs that we're going to go over. The first design that we discussed was the drivetrain. Initially, we were planning on using a six-wheeled rocker design, which is going to kind of help us get over the crater. But essentially, that was kind of getting caught uh, in the different gaps between the wheels. So then we hypothesized and kind of uh, brainstormed a four-wheel stilted drivetrain, which can uh, straddle the crater, and that way we can still be flat on the ground while collecting. Yeah, so we then knew we needed some way to intake the game elements from this year's uh, season. And so we wanted, uh, we started with like a shovel design that had surgical tubing uh, sort of a, on a roller intake uh, that would push two uh, of the game elements in a row like this. Uh, we also brainstormed sort of a fork idea in which two game elements would be held horizontally uh, and then they could individually be deposited by using two rollers on the side. Uh, we also looked at maybe doing sort of a brush mechanism where it would actually stack the game elements vertically and with a series of zip ties or some sort of pokey element that would deform over the game element and then come back in underneath them to hold them. Uh, but ultimately we decided that the shovel mechanism uh, would be the most simple to execute and the most versatile as it would allow us to individually deposit these game elements while also allowing for fast uh, and efficient collection. Uh, so then we knew we needed a lift to sort of get this collector up and down. And so we decided to use a uh, linear slide mechanism because originally uh, we were sort of brainstorming uh, over the back arm where the arm would flip around to the back of the robot. Uh, but that added some extra complications for uh, how we then deposit those game elements with our collector upside down. And so we ultimately decided that a linear slide mechanism would be uh, easier to do. And it's also something we have experience with. Uh, so that was uh, a lot easier. Um, all right, so then we're going to attach onto the lifter. We're going to have a climber on the side, which is just going to be a hook. So we're going to have a uh, back drive back to our uh, motors that are going to be lifting our winch. And so then we'll be able to pull ourselves up using that same uh, lift. And so for the marker launcher, we originally were thinking about launching it, but unfortunately that's not possible. And so we also looked at rolling it, but we're not super sure on that yet. So we're still going to have to do a little bit more brainstorming with that. So here's this diagram which shows the entire robot together along with a little bit of crater here so you can see how it's going to go over it and then see the lift here with the intake. So we'll lift the intake up and then you can go over the crater and then put it back down to intake. 